Uh, in this video, we will be discussing about the CNF that is the conjunctive normal form. Now, this is a uh, most important topic in artificial intelligence. Also, uh, this has got problems with the resolution. So, we will see what this CNF is or what the CNF stands for. Now, the CNF are the logical statements. Now, this logical statements without these variables that is the cap arrow this e symbol as well as the superset is cnf so if there is a statement and if that statement consists of these variables and if we eliminate these variables by using certain procedures then that is called as the cnf so let us see how to eliminate these symbols so that we can get a pure cnf so first is that elimination of this arrow. So this arrow is being eliminated. So if there is a statement like if there is A arrow B, then we will eliminate this arrow by using, we will first negate the first variable. Next we put a OR symbol and we will write the second variable. Now I call this and this as this is the cap and this is the cup. So this is cap and this is cup. So it becomes easy to remember by solving these kind of problems. Next we will eliminate this cap. So for elimination of this cap simply we have to write this A as well as this B. So we have eliminated this cap as well. Next we will eliminate this opposite E. So we will eliminate this opposite E by replacing it with a function called as the P of S. Now this P of S is called as the scolem function or the scolem constant in fact. So we eliminate this E with the help of scolem constant. Next we eliminate this superset symbol by writing this variable as it is. So this subset or the superset has been eliminated and if there are two variables we will eliminate it by writing this repeatedly. So elimination of the superset has also been done. So we will see a problem on how to solve this in hand on hand with the resolution. So this is the elimination of this variable so we can get a CNF. Next we will solve a problem based on how these variables are being applied. So the problem goes like this. Consider the following statements like if maid is stole the jewelry then butler is not guilty. Next is Either maid stole the jewellery or she milked the cow. Next is, if maid milked the cow, then butler got the cream. Therefore, if butler is guilty, then he got the cream.
okay so we have set up this four statements so based on this we will first convert it into propositional logic and from propositional logic we will eliminate the uh, symbols and convert it into cnf and finally from cnf we will resolve it so stay tuned that how we are going to approach this problem so first we have to create the propositional logic statements so for that we have the propositional logic here so i will write it as pl pl stands for propositional logic so i will take one variable that is p and i will assign p that made stole the jewelry next i will take a variable q and i will assign it to butler is guilty next i will take a variable r and i will assign it to made milk the cow next i will take a variable s and it says butler got the cream so these statements i have written into pl that is the propositional logic four statements four variables will convert it into cnf and see how to resolve it next we will convert it into logical statements so first is if maid stole the jewelry then butler is not guilty and if if maid stole the jewelry that if p is there then for then we will write an arrow butler is not guilty here it is butler is guilty so for not guilty we will negate this and write a q here so this is the first statement this has been done next either maid stole the jewelry or she milked the cow so it goes like p cup a either maid stole the jewelry or she milk the cup p cup a next is maid milk the cup maid milk the cup it is a simple statement so r arrow s next is butler got the cream so q arrow s so you can see in this pl there are many arrows so we will eliminate this arrows by using the cnf procedure that we have seen a few minutes back so let us see how to eliminate it so we have the very first statement of this arrow we will eliminate this arrow by negating this p or we will write the left variable as it is first variable we have to negate then we have to write the cup then we will write the right hand side variable as it is next we need not eliminate this or so we will write it as it is r arrow s we will negate r or s ness negate q or s so in this we have to prove that the statement or the final statement that is therefore if butler is guilty then he got the cream now we have to prove this statement is valid using this conclusion only so for that what will we do we will negate this statement and we will solve it into two parts by using the resolution process so we will negate the conclusion so how you will negate the conclusion
so we will put a negation sign then you have to negate this entire thing so I will put it in a bracket now I have to resolve this so negation of this entire thing so this goes like Q and negation of S now we have to eliminate this cap so that is very easy write Q and below that you will write a S negation S now we have to solve this by using the resolution so this resolution is uh, done in two parts one for Q and one for S so this for this Q we will take a statement that is this one that is negation of P cup negation Q so this finds the appropriate so we will resolve with this so that goes like this so Q and Q gets cancelled so in the previous videos you have seen how to resolve this so we have left with negation of P and we will negate this or we will resolve this one with this one so it goes P cup R next we have R left so we will use this with negation and R B S so we have S left and finally we will negate it with this one so we have an empty set left here so this is the thing we have done with Q next we have to do with S so for S we will negate it with or resolve it with negation S negation R B S and we have negation of R we use negation of R with P cup R we have this P and we will negate it with P V R we got R and finally we have a negation of R here finally this is the null set so this is the conclusion we have to prove in this CNF so this is the final solution to this problem so this is the CNF and how from PL you convert it into CNF and from CNF you resolve this so this is the chain how the AI is entirely linked so hope you enjoyed this video if you found this video helpful please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe thanks for watching this video